All right, first day of school. Landon, what grade are you going into? I'm going to third grade. Third grade. Tucker? First grade. First grade, oh my gosh. You guys excited? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, they are in school. Just did the first drop off. For the first day, they let you like walk them into their classroom. Oh man, it's crazy. Tucker actually walks right in and um, the principal, I know her here, she's like, Tucker, are you gonna say goodbye to your mom? I'm like, bye. But anyways, it's always emotional, but super excited for them. It was cool. I actually met a family that we know uh, that are some friends of ours I didn't know went here and their uh, daughters in Landon's class. So that was really exciting and it was really fun. I saw a lot of my old students and yeah oh it was a lot of people interaction this morning I'm like I didn't even like do anything to myself <laughs> oh well but yeah I'll be back to pick them up before you know it and I just hope they have a good first day when I after they put them in the room I'm like watching like that's my favorite part just to be like I want to see what they do <laughs> and I'm like okay I'm about to go my house is too quiet there's no lightsaber fights going on no boys fighting it's crazy just me and Junie so we celebrated her birthday last night and so I'm just trying to clean up the party <laughs> but she got some really fun toys so she's just freaking out playing with everything and I'm trying to put her down for a nap and she's just like running from one toy to the next so I'll show you a few cute things she got number one how many of you guys raise your hand in the comments had this car I feel like, I mean, I had it, Justin had it, our boys had it, but it was the red, was it yellow roof? Yellow roof, yeah, the red one, the classic little Tykes car. So she's been having a blast in that. Oh yeah, you can get in your car. And then she got a little tea party set, so she's been playing with, <laughs> playing with that. Are you making some coffee? The rest of them are in her room. Should we show the rest of your toys? So this is the rest of the little tea party, but had this little stand for all the pastries and she's got it all over the place so she's been having so much fun a little microwave all the fun little girl toys and cassidy got her her first little baby doll so she got a little rapunzel absolutely love it the boys are like what are all these girl toys they're just fascinated with seeing <laughs> seeing this kind of stuff in our household so much fun. Here's the box for the actual little tea set. I think she said she got it on Amazon, but it is very well made and oh my gosh, she cannot stop playing with it. But it is the cutest little set, but she absolutely loves this. Okay, so excited. Some of our friends found these. Uh, they said they got a yard sale, but they were still like even brand new package. I just took the packaging off of Disney. Little ice cube. Oh, they're all dirty from coffee. Grounds are always everywhere. Um, but little ice cube trays of Mickey. And I've heard of people doing this, but I've never had ice cube trays to do it. But you take your leftover coffee and you fill. Do we even have leftover coffee? That's the thing. Barely. Um, <laughs> the trays with it. So then if you make iced coffee, which we do as well, and you want it cold and the ice melts, it doesn't get watery. <sighs> brilliant i'm so excited oh look we've got a little bit more than i thought i'm making a mess but i'm gonna do that in this tray the other tray i'll just do normal like ice so the kids can have it we need our our mickey mouse coffee cubes as well okay is this gonna perfectly make this what yay yay okay Pretty amazing. What's up guys? Today we are doing a little crock pot dinner. I've already got everything going. Sorry, I did not show you, but I will tell you what's in there. I had to get it started because it's got it in there later than I should have. So I need it in time for dinner. But anyways, it's like a chicken pot pie. So I've got some frozen chicken tenders on the bottom. I have a can of cream of chicken in there, but it's like the huge um, family size one. And then I seasoned the chicken with some paprika, salt and pepper. And then I dumped a bag of veggies over the top. It was like half the bag of like just the mixed veggies from Walmart. So it was like a two pound bag and I put half of it in there. I also used the can of the family 
uh, soup and after I dumped it in there, I poured milk in it about halfway up and dumped that in there as well. So it's supposed to go in there on high for four hours. Still have birthday stuff up, but in there for four hours. And then I bought like the Pillsbury like crescent rolls. So you bake them, cut them up and then put it on top at the end. So making an easy dinner tonight because we have football. I've got to take Lana to practice and his cousin. We switch off days, which is really nice because their practice like is 30, 30, sometimes 40. It was 40 last night, minute drive. So it's really nice that we get to switch off, but I figured a crock pot meal would be good. Also, look at one of my Mickey <laughs> coffee ice cubes. They are so cute. I'm gonna put some more in there and then take some of our leftover coffee from this morning and do a little iced coffee, but those are so cute. <laughs> home from football so my sister Cassidy took over the recipe but um, she shred the chicken and then these are the biscuits and it is really good I'm watching the Lego movie <laughs> but super tasty and an easy fast way to make a chicken pot pie what's up guys it is Thursday the week is flying by the boys first week of school I feel like I was gonna have all of this time which I do I do have more time I've been editing it's been a busy week with our just our schedule with our business and then um Miss Juniper is here with me of course but I'm like oh my gosh it's already time to go pick them up I feel like every day but anyways Justin and I got the suitcase out are getting away just for one night we talked about this a while ago I think in a coffee chat but we're going to the 21 Pilots concert any 21 Pilot fans out there raise your hand in the comments did I already say that in this video is there like do a lot do the double raise your hand like the you know the two hands in the air they're like woo woo I don't know the name of that emoji <laughs> if you like 21 pilots but they uh we saw them here in Boise a while ago but they are coming to Salt Lake so we're gonna drive down there just for the night go to the concert and then stay the night and then come back so I'm packing I'm in the stages where I just like throw everything in there that I think I'm gonna need so not done at all but anyways, I'm going through my toiletry bag. Um, we have a video, just and I both, just kind of how we always keep these packed and ready to go. I feel like I'm pulling it out all the time, so I love it because I don't need to like pack it when I do. So anyways, I keep this always just stocked, ready to go. And then when we go on trips, I always just kind of make sure, or actually I should say, when trips are done, I'll make sure everything is like ready to go if I need to buy like new things like I'm running low on dry shampoo where I used it up on the last trip I'll buy a new one and just keep it stocked and our last getaway we did I realized a couple things that I need to have in here number one a razor I use the Billy razor I absolutely love it but whenever we go on trips I forget to grab my razor out of the shower I just it, this has happened multiple multiple times so I'm going to just keep one, I already opened it up, it is so cute, in my travel bag at all times. So one lives here, one lives in my shower. I think I might trade it out and keep this one that lives here and get my old one in the travel because I don't use it as much. But I love Billy razors. I've used them for a long time. And also um, I have a thing where like they send me a new the replacement blades ever so often and I don't even have to like order it. It just does automatically, which... I love and blades are so expensive and you get like I think it's like a four pack for $9.99 which I think is really affordable for razors and the razor itself I think these are like $9.99 so it's really affordable brand they work they're great so anyways that is one of the things I now I'm keeping in my toiletry bag when we go on trips so I don't forget it every trip. <laughs> and then the second thing I realized, I wrote all of this down after the last trip. I was like, Justin, you want to hear my new essential things I'm packing? He's like, sure. But the second thing after the razor is some kind of sleep aid, whether that's melatonin or I have more like uh, natural stuff like lavender oils, just something to help me sleep. Because every time we go somewhere, no matter what it is, no matter how exhausted I am, the first night, I always struggle sleeping. I always just, I can't get to sleep. So if I had something like that and I just always have it in my bag, I think that's another 
just essential thing for me. So for traveling, I'm going to just keep probably melatonin in my travel bag as well. So I picked up some of that for <laughs> our trip. And the third thing, did I tell you guys there's three things? Okay, the third thing is tweezers. I always forget tweezers. And when we went away this last week, I asked Cassidy, my sister, I'm like, do you have any tweezers? I needed tweezers so bad. I think I had like some eyebrow, crazy eyebrows going on and then something else happened. Maybe it was like a sliver that got in one of the boys' foot. I don't remember. I needed tweezers for another reason and I didn't have them. So tweezers are gonna now live in my bag as well. But anyways, I think I just need to purchase one of those little like nail kits with like fingernail clippers and then it has like tweezers in there. I don't have one of those, so I need to get that as well. And yeah, I just thought I would share with you guys my three new things that are living in my travel bag that are essential. <laughs> if you're curious what else I have packed in there, I'll link the video below. But I also picked up some foundation I was out of, so I got this e.l.f. Soft Glam. I have not tried it yet, so I needed that. And I picked up some deodorant for Justin because that's his favorite deodorant. But those are the last couple things we needed. So yeah, I try to get things for myself packed up early. We're not leaving for a couple days, but I have three other children to pack for. So in order to get all the kids done in time, I always try to start mine a little bit early and then like at least get things thrown into the suitcase like I shared with you and see what I have or if I need to get anything. So. That's the stage I'm in right now. What's up everybody? I'm at the post office and we got some mail from you guys. A couple of packages it looks like. Holy smokes guys, three packages. It's almost like 10 o'clock, I just got done with youth group, but uh, the post office is pretty close where we have youth group at. So I was like, I'm gonna go check the, the post office, so. Good morning, <laughs> crazy hair. <laughs> it's just me and Tucker up this morning. Got my coffee. I think I hear Judy waking up. And something we like to do once in a blue moon is change our profile avatars on Disney Plus. You want to see what we all are now? <laughs> okay, don't mind our dirty TV, Junie's fingerprints, but we are all Star Wars characters. So we have Daddy, Jay Z, <laughs> Chewbacca, Junie, Grogu, and Cass is our duty too. Or sorry. C3PO, I am R2D2, Obi Wan Kenobi, Papa. <laughs> Why is Papa on here? I don't Papa used this one time. He's Darth Vader, and then the sun's coming in. You can't see, but there. Oh, there. Tucker is the one and only Yoda. <laughs> Anyways, we like to change this once in a while. We used to be like all of our favorite characters, and Junior was Bluey. And anyways, this is what we got now. On the road again! Can't, what else is in that song? I can't uh, wait to get back on the road again. We are on the road again, you guys. On the road again. Except for, there's nobody in the back. Nobody. This is so it's crazy. crazy. Just two parents getting out of town. So, <laughs> I've mentioned already before where we're going and what we're doing. Got the suitcases packed. Kids are dropped off. Pack my suitcase. <laughs> We got some Carl's Jr. It's actually so good. I haven't had Carl's Jr. Was, for I don't know how long. But I, so I got I, chicken tendies. I was at church this morning, set up, because we're in the tent, you know. And I had to play drums this morning, too. So after the second service, second set, I left. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it's been up since, like, what, five in the morning. Early. So I'm, like, super hungry. Yeah. So we got down the layout. Mm-hmm. Feeling good. It was really good, except for their honey mustard. Honey mustard tastes like very vinegary and I didn't like it. I don't know, it used to not be like that. I'm a very big fan of my honey mustard. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Anyways, we have some road snacks. You guys, Karen, if you're watching, we love you. One of our viewers, Karen, is from Hawaii and she'll, when she sends us stuff, she knows these are our favorites. So she'll send us some goodies from Hawaii, but these are chocolate covered uh, pineapple gummy bears. Oh my goodness. So good. By the way, um, so good. I haven't been in the vlog very much. This I know. Week, I don't think. It's been and a I lot think of the last time I filmed was me going to the post office. Yes. Never even showed the contents <laughs> of what you guys got us. That was, that was in there. <laughs> so maybe if we remember, <laughs> maybe our next week or maybe this yeah. week, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll share. show. But thank yeah. you. You guys know who said. Yes. You know. We are so thankful for you guys. And we need to check our P.O. box more because yeah. sometimes we forget. So when you guys send us stuff, it is so sweet. And the boys get so excited too. 
But anyways, we got about a four hour drive. We'll get there in time to check into our hotel, kind of like freshen up and then head to the concert probably. Yeah, doors open so. at 6.30 and concert at 8. Yeah. So yeah. It's gonna be good. Also, we are gonna be filming a little coffee chat in the car. Except we have no car coffee. coffee chat. No, I know. <gasps> we have Hopefully there's coffee in the way. So I'll show you what we got for our camera. Look at this thing. Justin found this little doodad. So and the DJI um, goes right in here. Yep. It has a gimbal. And then we have uh, wireless um, mics. Mics. So you don't hear the road so much. Right. It'll be kind of nice. Yeah, it's funny because I told them, I was like, man, like we're trying to get some videos in line. And usually Mondays we film and we're not going to be able to because we'll be heading back. And I was like, why don't we just do our coffee chat like in the car? And I just saw his wheels turning. And then the next day there's a package at the door. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I'm like, how are we, I'm like, we're not gonna hold it the whole time. <laughs> well, I was just thinking, like, we'll just like set a camera, a phone up there. I don't know, but not him. Anyways, one other thing before we're talking about the coffee chat, we're, the content though, we're talking about like goals and kind of resetting with like the new like fall coming. Yeah. You know, kids back to school basically. So yeah, resetting our goals a little bit. Yeah, like our schedule and just what we're gonna be doing. And I've already got some things in my mind. Like I, yeah, we'll talk about it in the coffee chat you'll see, but just with working out and just different things. So that'll be fun. Lastly, there's more. I made a playlist for us. Oh, really? I did. So it's <laughs> it's for our road trip. I feel like back in the day, if you guys know, you know how I used to like burn CDs for your, your significant other? <laughs> I feel like I did that with you. So I made a little, look at our <laughs> picture. <laughs> and oh it's got gosh. a heart. And I just found songs that listen to when we were dating or just remind me of you it was so fun to make Thanks. so try to guess one song that's on there oh probably probably boston yes and it, that's the first one. Oh, is it yeah and probably journey i don't have journey oh wow okay i right. can't believe i don't have that on there yeah, but... probably augustina nope really no what? i forgot about those two what, what is on there cold play okay plain white tees right. uh some l city i've got youtube um, yeah, but not those two. But anyways, it was pretty fun to make. So, we'll be listening to that as well. Justin's getting our drinks. We stopped at the gas station. We are probably an hour and a half out, but we need gas and coffee. So, and it's been a good drive. Justin was like really tired because he got up super early this morning. So, I drove so he could take a little nap, had some good like sing-along times and conversations. It's been good. It's honestly been so weird though because I feel with road trips it's usually like I have to pee or have a snack or fix my iPad. Like I'm usually like doing a million things so it's been very different kind of a road trip. We have arrived safely, guys. We are checked in our hotel. Um, now You See Me is on TV. I feel like whenever we're at a hotel, that's on the hotel TV. <laughs> so we've got that going. But anyways, I'll show you guys around our room. It's really cool. So at the entrance, they've got a little area here. You can put your bags, like hooks, smear. Super cool. Turn over here. We have a little kitchenette, dishwasher, microwave, sink, stove. And then down here, we even have a little fridge. And is that a freezer? Yeah. Fridge, no, that's just a fridge too. We got a little bar counter here and bar seats. And then I love the setup of the room because you've got like a little living room area, which actually, Justin, if you look out the window, you can see the stadium. Is that what it's called? Where the concert's at? The arena. Yeah, so right out here, we're at the back side of it though, but that's the Delta center arena so we're on the back but on the other side is the entrance so we're like i mean walk across the street to the concert so that's super cool yeah, see where they're selling merch at. i know and then i love love this feature but you got a tv right here for the living room but then you can turn it around and over here is the bedroom so it's just like swivels love it so here's our bedroom justin How's it feel to be on the other end of the camera? You're usually doing <laughs> this. But yeah, so we have a window over there as well. And then I've taken over this side, <laughs> already unpacking. We've been here like three seconds. I know. And then this is nice. I set my suitcase here 
and there's like more drawer space down here and then we have the bathroom so we got a walk-in shower got the toilet justin is unpacking already i see too yeah. and we've got the sink hello this is very very nice that's so cool. Do you remember staying in, I think we've stayed at a hotel before yeah. where they have this. It's cool. And we talked about how cool it would be one day to have like a bedroom where yeah, you could do this because then you could have like a sitting area. Yeah. I love it. So. That'd be a big master bedroom. I mean, <laughs> it'd be pretty cool. All right, guys. Mom and dad are on town. <laughs> These are our fits. Thank you, Justin, for the, the bandana. Yeah. Completed my ensemble. <laughs> I, I bought some new bandanas for, for running. And so I'm like, might as well get like the color theme. Yeah. I'm going to buy them. I know. So. When we drove by, I saw so much black and yellow and red. Black and yellow. And so I'm like, I need a little color. So I saw some cool kids doing this. So, I, I mean. Like your fit? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. It's a little windy. It's a storm. So they... <laughs> Hopefully you can hear us. Hotel's right there. Benny's right there. So... If you have to go back, go to the bathroom or something, pretty chill. Sure. Cool thing is, if it's raining outside, by the way, but um, if you have an American Express card, you get this like VIP entrance, which is awesome. Another reason why we love Amex, uh, because you get into some really cool spots. And you don't have to wait in line very long, because the line is insane. And uh, there's a Lacey under the tree. <laughs> All right, that's Lacey's seat and my seat, right next to the pit. So I am I like the pit, Lacey doesn't, so we kind of compromise. Okay, back up. Okay. I like the pit, I've done the pit, yeah. but I am 36 now, yeah. and I'm not ready for the pit. I'm 36 and I still like the pit, so <laughs> we compromise. You're 35, you're 36. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Marriage is all about compromise. Yeah. So I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, we're in line for uh, the merch. We're getting a hoodie because Lacey's cold. Okay, you wanted one, but I was like, I will wear that. Yeah, it killed, killed two like birds with one stone. Yeah. Uh, the line's huge though, so. But the, the, I guess the pro of not being in the pit is you don't have to like, you can leave. Yeah. You know. And we were gonna get, I'm gonna get some food too. Yeah. The next morning, Oatmeal. we're heading out. We had, already ate breakfast. The breakfast was terrible at the hotel. Oatmeal was? Okay. So, yeah, just wasn't the best breakfast. The coffee though was absolutely terrible. It was hotel coffee. No, it, um, was, it was worse than hotel coffee. It was all right. So we're on the hunt for some <laughs> coffee right now is what we're gonna do. And maybe a second breakfast. Yes. <laughs> we got up so early, but we have like no kids and like- You get all this energy. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. It's like, man. But anyway, so we're gonna probably, well, we're gonna start with some coffee. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Coffee for sure. Also, check out my hoodie I got. Pretty cool. Well guys, we made it to Ikea. We still haven't got coffee yet, um, but we're gonna check out Ikea. We need to get a plant. Ikea does have a food court. Yeah, I guess they, um, but it's probably I don't know about nasty coffee. Ikea probably coffee. Is. Probably is. <laughs> but we, uh, we gotta get a plant for our studio. Um, we don't have an Ikea in Boise, fun fact. It's frustrating, but it's just reality. 
We need, like, some plants for our house, too. Like, also baskets. We've been in the market for, like, a good big basket for blankets. In the market for, for like, a two basket. years. <laughs> I can feel like everyone I get, I'm like, this we've is not a, what I want. We've been in the market this for a truck. Because the one we have now, because we love our blankets in the evenings, and we have big ones, but, like, it, like, falls down if nothing's in it, and I hate that. You know what I mean? I just want one that, like, will stay sturdy. Mm -hmm. So... So basket implants. Basket implants. Just a girl shopping in Ikea. There's no one here. Like we, I don't even think it's, it's officially open. Mm -hmm. It opened three minutes ago. <laughs> well, we made it through like the bedroom stuff and like the furniture, but this is the spot where it's just easy to just start grabbing everything. So dangerous. Cause it's like sleeping nonsense, nothing nonsense. I know. We did get something for the boys though. Yeah, they're gonna love it. They're it's, really into Kung, Kung Fu Panda. Panda. They're like $3.99, $4.99, and they're so soft. They are soft. Cute. So, they're like that. And we got the same exact ones. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> so, anytime I want to get silverware, it's like, you know, everything. But we just need forks. We run yeah. out of forks. I think our boys throw them away. Like crazy. I think you throw them away, too. No, there's no way I throw I them away. I think you took them to the office, like, when you pack your lunches sometimes. No. And maybe they're there. I don't know. No, I, I don't. They sell a pack I, of four I, I, forks. Can we talk about this? You know, I use plastic ones at the office. Okay. The boys throw them away. <laughs> Stop throwing me under the bus. Gosh. I'm getting them. Okay. Okay, guys. We found a plant that's going to go in the studio where we film our podcast. I think we like it. It's like 40 bucks, too. 40 bucks. Well, for the plant, and then that was like, I don't know, 15 or something. We're about to head the head out, but we're going to get some lunch. At uh, In-N-Out. Hear me out. We have an In-N-Out burger. There it is. But it takes 45 minutes to get go there. It still does, you guys. it's so new. So we're like, you know what? When in Rome. Let's do it. And it sounds so good right now. I'm actually getting no bun. I'm getting um, meat and then like has onions on both sides as the bun. I'm probably going to do a lettuce wrap too. Yeah. That just sounds those, better those for, my, for my tummy. But I am getting a Coke and fries. Yeah, I will do the fries. Do I want a shake? I'm not I doing a shake. No, I, no shake. I can't do that to my okay. body. Well, we just finished out a coffee chat. We th we said we were going to do this on the way. Yeah. Didn't happen. No. Uh, so we did it on the way back. Mm -hmm. um, it was really fun. It was fun. Hopefully it all sounded right. Yeah. So we thought we would close the Weekend Alive vlog out here. But it was a, it was a fun week. It was really you know? fun. We Concert a was time. a great way to top it off. It was. For sure. Yeah, it started off with like the boys going to school. Yeah. Like a school and... Yep. So it was a good week. Good week. Really fun. I yeah. love doing like these little getaways. And yeah. we just realized it's not a bad drive to Salt Lake for us. So it's like um, what four and a half, five yeah. hours to pay. But it's traffic. an easy drive too. So yeah. if there's more like bands that come here, it'll be fun to do this more often together. Heck yeah. But anyways. All right, guys. I love you guys. Well, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.